If you want to create a simple AM React.js navigation component to browse between pages, in this quick tips episode, you will learn how. Keep watching. Hi there. I'm Manuel Gutierrez from delighthouse.co and I make videos that help you learn about different programming topics like AM, Docker, TensorFlow, Unity, and more. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell notification buttons below so you don't miss a thing. Let's start. In the first video of this series, I showed how to create a basic AM component using the Yoman generator and also with the React.js part of the component. In the second video, I showed how to create the model and explained the different configurations required for the Sling model exporter. So, in today's video, I'll focus on creating a simple navigation component using the React.js router to link to different pages inside AEM without causing the browser to refresh the page. As before, for creating a React.js AM component, we need at least four things. A simple AM component with a dialog and a Sling model using the Sling model exporter, a React.js component, an entry importing the component inside the import components.js file. For creating this AM component, I am going to use the Yoman generator again to do that for me. I am calling it interesting content and I am making sure that the names for the folders and component group match my current application's configuration. I am specifying that I want to use the Sling model exporter. After the generator starts running, I will specify that I want a sample path field to be generated. I will use it to store a URL. Let's log in into AEM and create a couple of pages below the home page. They will serve as the list of interesting pages that we want to browse to. Open the model for the interesting content model. It should be located inside the core module below the folder for the models package. You can see that we have all the required configurations for the model exporter as we configured them on the previous video. Let's inject the resource resolver, import it, Create a variable for storing the list of interesting pages. When the model is being initialized and if we have a parent URL already set for the component, adapt the resource resolver to page manager, get the page given the URL, and if it is a valid path for a page inside AEM, get the iterator for the list of children and transform it into an array of pages. Don't forget to import all the used classes. Finally, create a getter for the list of pages. Inside the React project, I will create a folder for the interesting content component, a file for storing the CSS, where I'll add some code I found on speckyboy.com, and a JS file for the component. Add the imports for the React.js library and map to helper from Adobe. Add the imports for the React router library. Add the styles file. Create an edit config for when the component is empty. Create the React component and in its render function, add a UL element 
with the class name large. From the Properties object, iterate through the list of interesting pages. And add a li element and inside it the link object with the path and title of the page. This will allow us to navigate to different parts of the application and load them without refreshing the page completely. Finally, we call the map to helper function that maps the React component to the resource type for the interesting content AM component. Then, inside the import components.js file, import the new React component. Let's build and deploy our app. Go to AM, open the home page, add the interesting content component, edit it, set the parent URL, and click on save. Go to preview mode, click on the first page, click back on the browser, click on the second page. Awesome! Congratulations and thanks for watching! You can join the free mini course associated with this video by clicking on the link in the description below. Share any comments or suggestions about the series or future topics. And if you like the video, also hit the like button below.